Hi guys, I am back. Did you miss me? Yeah, I wouldn't either. <laughs> um, I know I've been gone for a while and I apologize for that. It's been a very, very, very stressful, I guess, month now. Um, I've had a lot going on. I've had just, it's been, it's been pure hell for me. Um, but I am back. I missed you guys. And today I'm actually going to be doing something that is a little different and also is going to be helpful. Um, for the last, what, six years now? My daughter's six. So yeah, six years. I have actually been couponing. Um, and it, it, it is difficult to catch on to at first. And a lot of people have asked me, well, how do you do this? How do you couple it with the sales? How do you know what to do? How do you, how do you make it to where you save money? And I will say this. I am not by any means one of those people that is like an extreme couponer where I have to buy a hundred bottles of barbecue sauce or buy a bunch of puppy chow and I don't even have a dog. I'm not one of those people. I am very realistic. I coupon to save money on the things that I would normally buy. Um, and I also use it, and I also do it to, you know, try new things. Um, but depending on where you are and um, like the, 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 the rules and stuff of the different stores, it can be kind of difficult, especially to like really couple everything with the sales and you know the coupons and how do you know what goes with what, how do you know something's acceptable, you know. Um, I actually just did a couponing haul this past weekend, it was pay weekend. And I got about $400 worth of stuff, both groceries, you know, groceries, cat food, uh, cleaning supplies, all sorts of stuff. And I got it for just under $200. Now, to some extreme couponers, it's like, oh, pfft, that's only 50% savings. But to somebody that, that, that $200 makes a huge difference for, they're going to really appreciate this. Um... So today we're going to, I'm going to walk you guys through uh, some of the things that I do, some of my couponing tricks, some of the websites that I use, and I'm also going to kind of show you guys um, my organizational methods on how to keep everything organized and how to keep it all looking, you know, all in its own little category so it's easy to find. So here we go. <laughs> So generally, uh, when I'm when I start my couponing and stuff, I always tell people always start with the most expensive thing. Always start with the one thing that you know for a fact, guaranteed, you're gonna have to buy every payday. That's the thing that you're gonna want to start saving the most money on. That's where you're really gonna see it, and it's really gonna reward you. Um, <clears throat> now, here's the thing. There's several different ways to get coupons. There's several different ways to get them. If you get a normal Sunday newspaper, you can go in there and you can get things like this. I am actually in South Tampa. I live in Florida, South Tampa. Um, so we only really get two different kinds of inserts in our papers. We get the smart source, which is this, and we get one that I, I don't have actually, they didn't have it this weekend. I get something called P&G. And P&G is things like Colgate, uh, Colgate, Gillette, Charmin, um, a lot of the, it's, P&G has their own inserts for their products and they come out like once a month, I think. Yeah, once a month. Um, now in some places in the country, I know, I think Georgia has it, Virginia, some pla some more places on the East Coast, I think they have an insert called Red Plum. And those have other additional savings in it, but unfortunately where I live, we don't get those. Um, <clears throat> so, as you can see, I have three copies. Now, I know that buying the weekly newspaper is going to be quite expensive, especially like, because I will buy anywhere between three to five copies of the newspaper, depending on what's in that, in that sale paper this weekend. Um, 
some people now you can also have it delivered if you don't want to deal with the stress of always making sure oh i have to have my money for my coupons i also i would recommend getting a sunday only prescription to the newspaper and you can get as many copies as you want you pay for like the entire year and they get delivered directly to your door now for those of you who you know want to know okay well how do you know what's going to be in the paper this weekend simple sunday coupon preview is what you type in and this is what you're going to look for you're going to look for the sunday coupon inserts now as you can see it says 10 8 because that was the most recent one that was yesterday and you can actually look and see how you know how this has red plum and stuff you can actually see like what coupons are going to be in the paper what inserts what are you looking for and you can determine for yourself is this actually worth the money if it's not gonna because sometimes like closer to the holidays like if, if, if a you know if a holiday lands like the day before or the day after sometimes they won't have inserts that week so and I did that once. I went out and bought, I spent like five bucks on papers only to realize that there was absolutely no, no coupons. I was quite devastated. I was very angry. Sorry. Now, as you can see, you can actually see here, like looking at this, you can see what the coupon's for, how much the value is going to be, and the expiration date. Always, always pay attention to your expiration dates. If it is even a day off, they, this, most stores, almost every store will refuse it. Now there are some stores that are just like, okay, we'll take it, you know, but that's like 1% of grocery stores will be like, okay, well it's a day off, so I'm going to go ahead and take it, especially if it's like just after midnight or something. Um, now, as far as getting other coupons, <clears throat> you can print them, but the, the issue with that, the only issue I found, is that each coupon can only be printed twice per computer. Lucky for me, I have three computers in my house and a tablet. Now, there are several different. These right here are all the ones that I use. Uh, Crazy Coupon Lady is my absolute favorite website, and I will show you why. Um, now you can come down here, like you can look at it, you can organize it however you want to organize it, look at it however you want to look at it. My favorite thing to do is to switch to A to Z mode, and once it decides to work, <laughs> there we go. Okay, now you can look at it and you can find it based on either uh, the name of the product, like if you want to, like if you hit control F, you get the little box up there, you can type in Charmin and it'll take you directly to the Charmin coupons. Or, if you don't know, okay, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be Charmin, you can type in something like toilet paper. And it brings it up, brings up all the different lists of toilet paper. Now, the thing with this, though, is that the printed coupons are not the same ones that are in the newspapers. You will never find the exact same coupon that's in the newspaper and in, able to be printed, ever. Um, that being said, though, this is one of my absolute favorite websites. I will come here first among anything else um, because the people that run this website, they actually go through. Oh, excuse me. Ha oh, ha. Yay. OK, they actually go through all of the different online, most of the different online databases and they find the coupons. And what these do is say, take nine lives, for example, you click it and it automatically redirects you thank you, to coupons.com, which is where this, this coupon is actually hosted. You go in, you tell it to print, and it prints it. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to go ahead, and because I do actually buy nine lives, so we're going to do this here. And now, you see how it says on any one item, you have to pay attention to those directions. You've got to pay attention because if it says any one item of this brand, well, then you're in luck because you can buy whatever size, whatever size you want. doesn't matter. But there are some coupons that specify, you know, a dollar off 3.15 pound bags or a dollar off 12 pound bags. You have to make sure you follow the instructions. Now, you can print it in color because I know you guys can see that mine's in black and white. You can print it in color. The only reason I'm not is because I'm actually running very, very low on my colored ink right now, so everything's being printed in black and white. Now, this is what you're going to want your sheet to look like when you print it. Um, you have your expiration date here, 
and you have to have your barcode. You have to have the full barcode and the description of the product. Now, when you print it, it's going to print and it's going to look just like this. I would recommend, and what I do is I have a slicer. I have something like this. Put the paper in it like that, slide it in, and then it, you literally just slide that to cut the paper. Um, do you see these lines that are here on the edges? I know it looks like it's writing, and it is actually writing, but that is where you want to want to cut the line. Anything any farther in, and you're going to damage the coupon. You even cut off a micro cent, a, a micro millimeter of the barcode, and it will be refused. Trust me, I've had that happen. Um, <laughs> quite angry too. It was for a five dollar off something coupon, and it was on sale for like six. I was very angry. Silence. Okay. Now, here's the fun thing. Always know your coupon policies for each of your stores. Like, for example, I do a lot of my shopping at Winn-Dixie. So you're going to want to go into Winn-Dixie, go into the your search browser, and just type in your store, and then type coupon policy. Now what that's going to do is it's going to bring you to this, something like this. Eventually, will you come on? <laughs> Sorry, my internet's kind of being yee today. And you're going to want to print one of these for every single one of your stores that you would normally use. Because some stores, depending on where you're at, will actually double coupons. They'll double them up to a dollar. The stores in my area don't because we have a lot of like BOGO sales, which are like buy one, get one. And you can actually use a coupon for each item. But <clears throat> you, you, you always want to know what your policy is. That is going to be the absolute most important thing because... They, if they try to say, oh, well, you can't use this because of this reason. Well, that's not what your policy says. Here it is in writing. I actually have all of the policies for every store that I go to. I have them all printed and in my little book that, see, this is my coupon book. I actually have it in my book. So especially I've had people that have been new to the company and were just like, oh, well, I don't think I can actually take this. And I'm like, well, according to this, yes, you can I know it probably sounds really, really dumb to argue over a 55 cent off one coupon, but imagine this. If you have two 55 cent off one coupons, that equals what? A dollar ten? Now, if this particular coupon is for an item that's on BOGO, which is buy one, get one, for a dollar, those two coupons are going to become extremely important because that means that the two items you just bought were free with a 19 cent money back that they owe you, that they either have to give you in cash at the end of your transaction or goes towards, you know, other things in your purchase that don't have coupons like fresh meats, fresh breads, uh, and fresh fruits and vegetables. So always check your policy. Um... Now, the really, really cool thing, though, is the things that you print, like from here or you print it online, those are called manufacturer's coupons. Now, so these, can act, th these coupons can actually be coupled with a store coupon. Now, the difference between a store coupon and a manufacturer's coupon is something like this. This is the Publix insert for this past weekend, which was yesterday because today's Monday. Now, if you look at it, we'll take this one for the Viva paper towels. Do you see how it says Publix right there? And it doesn't have a barcode? That's because this is a store coupon. This can only be used at a Publix. It can be run like any other coupon, but it has to be used at Publix. You cannot use it anywhere else. But the really awesome thing about that is this says $5 off any eight, eight giant rolls of Viva paper towels. So... If they have the Viva paper towels on sale for, say, $7, you can use this, this coupon, which will knock it down to $2. And if you happen to come across a dollar off one coupon, either in the newspaper or printed, you've just saved $6 on an $8 roll, on an $8 pack of, of paper towels. So now you've just bought eight giant rolls of paper towels for a dollar. Coupon, or... 
store coupons and manufacturer's coupons can be used together. Those are the only, that's the only way to use two coupons on the same item is if it is a store coupon and a manufacturer's coupon. I was at Winn-Dixie this past weekend and I bought about $300 worth of food and cat food and stuff like that. And I spent roughly $150. Um, so I paid half. Uh, now, I had somebody asking me, how did you save so much money? How did you save that much? And I, I'll be honest with you, it, it does take a lot of time to, you know, get the coupons and stuff together. But here's the thing. Always look at your sales and match your sales in the circulars to your coupons. So if you have buy one, get one free on Kellogg cereal, and then you have two, you know, 50 cent off one coupons. Well, you just saved a dollar on two boxes of cereal. You will actually, you've saved more, you know, because each box of Kellogg cereal is like, say what, $3 and 30 cents. We'll say, we'll round it up. We'll say $4. Well, you're already getting two boxes for one, for $4. By adding up those two coupons, you're now saving $5 on two boxes, which means you're getting both boxes of cereal for $3, which is less than the price of one box. I know the next, the, the next thing we're going to talk about is the actual sizes. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, okay, well, if, aren't you going to save more money if you buy the bigger size? Not necessarily. For example, for three cats that eat solid food, solid food, that can get expensive. Anybody that's ever owned cats knows that a 12 pound bag of food is anywhere from 10 to $15, depending on the brand that you buy. Well, I actually, well, most of the time, buy the smaller bags, the 3.15 pound bags of food. Why? Simple, because those are the ones that are almost always gonna go on sale. Now, granted, the bigger bags, oh, well, it'll go on sale, it'll knock off a dollar, it'll knock off two dollars, but it's not really worth it when you have coupons and you can match the coupons with the BOGOs and get, get more for less than that price. For example, this past weekend, I bought my girls six bags, six of the small bags of cat food. Now, that equals up to 18.9 pounds of food, which is bigger than any bag, any of the big bags. Now, each bag was on buy one, get one. I'm already getting six bags for $12, which is like $2 a bag. Now, to make it even better, I had six $1 off one coupons for any size of this particular brand, which means I paid $6 for six bags of cat food. Now, don't, don't let these sales trick you or scare you. What I mean by that is sometimes they'll put the bigger bottles of something on sale thinking, okay, well, even with the coupons, they're going to buy this. Don't let them trick you into buying something just because it looks good. For example, this past weekend, I had a coupon for $5 off any three Pantene hair products. Now, I almost broke my own rule for this because I allowed it to get into my head. I allowed Winn-Dixie to get into my head, man. Well, what happened was they had a sale that was their big bottles of product for $4 a bottle. $5 a bottle because they were like 480 something. So $5 a bottle. Now I actually caught myself thinking, okay, well I can buy the, cause I need a shampoo and conditioner. I can buy the shampoo and the conditioner, spend $10 and then get a bottle of three minute miracle for free. I felt dumb when I finally sat and I looked at it. Now my hair is short and colored, which means you know, I have to have very specific types of shampoo, but I don't need a whole lot of it. A little bit does me just fine. So I looked and found the exact same product that I was going to buy, but in a smaller size. And it wasn't that much smaller. It was maybe just a couple ounces smaller. 
for less than that. I got I had a bottle of shampoo and a bottle of conditioner for $3.90 a piece. Found the three minute miracle, which again was $3.90. So we're already, we're already looking at $11.70. Focus, there you go. Minus the $5 coupon, I paid $6.70 for all three products. Um, which is less than I would have paid if I'd gotten the bigger one. I almost broke my own rule. I did. I almost broke my own rule because I wasn't paying attention because I allowed the sales to intimidate me. Don't allow them to intimidate you. Your stockpile. My stockpile is actually not very big because I don't buy more than what I actually need. Your stockpile is what it, your stockpile is as big as you feel comfortable with. If you're going to be comfortable knowing, okay, I have enough groceries to last us for the next month if necessary, then that's what you need and that's what you have. You, ha you, you build your stockpile around you and your family's comfort. So if you have six people in your family and you're like, okay, I need this much stuff to feed us for the next two weeks but this much stuff to make sure that I can feed us and everybody can snack and be comfortable. Well, okay, let's go with this one. You don't have to build your stockpile like these people on TV. That's, that's too much. Granted, that's how I started. That's how I started couponing was I started by watching that show, um, extreme couponing. That's how I started, but I don't agree with having these freaking rooms, entire rooms full of stuff that you're never going to use. Now, if it's something like feminine supplies, like tampons or pads or something like that, or if it's dish soap or something that you know you're going to use, then yes, please, by all means, stockpile. I swear, at one point, I had literally six boxes of tampons in my closet. But what in the hell do I need a hundred dog collars for? I don't even have a dog. My husband's allergic. I don't have dogs. Why do I need it? Now, if you're going to buy it because, okay, well, I'm going to get this for free anyway, and I can donate it, well, that's different. Don't turn into a hoarder just because you're couponing. That's going to seriously defeat the purpose. I think that's about it. Um, anybody that has any questions on how to do this or, you know, wants any advice or wants a walkthrough or something like that, you can feel, please feel free to message me. Um, I'm more than happy to help you. I will leave a link to my Twitter down below so that you guys can message me there. You can message me on Instagram. Over there is a link to our Patreon account. So if you guys could help us out with anything, even a dollar a month is greatly appreciated because that goes to like admission fees and stuff over there is a link to a video that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. I hope to see you guys again soon. Good luck with your couponing. Save lots of money and remember to keep it geeky.